All right, folks, hello and welcome to Relax Mail. I am Brian, and thank you very much for uh, taking the time out of your busy day to come and have a listen. Today, we are talking about cussing, cursing, blue words, wordy dirts, whatever you want to phrase them. They, uh, they can be a problem, and it seems like we're wanting to depend on these words a whole lot more than what we really should. So that's what we're going to talk about this week. Hey folks, hello and welcome. All right, today on Relaxed Mail, we are talking about cuss words. Uh, not gonna be using any, so uh, we're gonna keep this thing uh, PG. But um, seems like to these days, cuss words are being bantied around a lot more often than what, I re what I'm really comfortable with. Uh, what a lot of us uh, old timers probably are not comfortable with. Uh, it's, uh, we all cuss, I, I understand. Well, most of us cuss, the vast majority of us cuss. Um, and we c there's different reasons for cussing. There's the one type of cussing that, uh, you know, relieves pain. So if you stub your toe, you're like a mother flipper, bobbling, flop bobbling, you know, or you're, you, you, there's times where you just lose your cool and you're calling, you're calling whatever it is you're supposed to be working on, you know, uh, mundane noodle and it's if you what a Christmas story if you want to catch that reference um, <laughs> so it's cussing we've all had cussing uh, if you uh, cussing comes from uh, apparently a lower form of English uh, that uh, was more of a Germanic uh, side while you know you had high English which was done by it was uh, French but um, it was French and Latin but these days though it seems like I am seeing more and more instances of where the f-bomb is being used in titles of books and I, 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 I there for the longest bit I was uh, I was even talking about how they were because the f-bomb is being dropped in in the titles of songs and uh, that they weren't ever I mean we used to have uh, uh, I, the only thing I could really come up with, think of that really had the, the F word in it was uh, was Nine Inch Nails Closer, and that one, you know, it said it a, a whole bunch. I want to you like an animal, but uh, and then it dawned on me uh, after I'd said put that out that well uh, we had a band called the Violent Films and they had Dance MF or Dance, so it was uh, it been around for. There have been people doing it for a while. Uh, it seems like we're becoming a lot more relaxed, a lot more relaxed, and, and a lot more okay with people using that type of language. Um, not entirely, thankfully. Uh, it appears that uh, the Michigan representative uh, who uh, said that uh, she, something along the lines of she's going to impeach that mf -er, I think she kind of figured out she overstepped her bounds. Uh, and that's one of the things I want to talk about is there are a lot of cons to using a cuss word. Yeah, you said say a couple wordy dirge, you know, figure out how to string them together. Congratulations, you sound like a junior high kid. <laughs> you do, you because they're the ones who always want to cuss. If you've ever not ever played an online first-person shooter with other people who, and kids who happen to have a microphone, there are some kids who think that they have to cuss for the sake of cussing. And um, I've, I've told many of them, dude, you're not impressing anybody with your language. And a few of them, oh, okay, sorry. And they, they immediately, ah, they could stop it. You, it's not, people like to say it's a habit. But you ask a lot of people who are serial cussers, and like uh, Kevin Smith, he has, a, he has a blue mouth if there ever was one. But you get him in front of a... Uh, in front of a television, public, uh, someplace where he's not supposed to cuss, and guess what? He doesn't cuss. All of a sudden, those all that language and and uh, and 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 words that he normally likes to use doesn't come about. The jokes he uses are a lot different. 
you can control and that's a lot a lot of people like to try to go oh it's just my habit it's just just uh, part of who I am I, I do it that's that's who I am I'm being authentic oh actually you're not you're trying way too hard and when you cuss excessively sorry it makes you look uneducated all right when all you can say is effing 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 this effing 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 congratulations you know how to say the F word is all you've done you haven't communicated a darn thing yeah people can know think that you could take the F word and you can slip and make it an, a verb a noun and an adjective all at the same time and it kind of fits in there but it would be a lot better if you actually used a real verb and a real adjective and a real noun in the same way with the S word you know you can say all you want this is F and S, you know, F and dirt bag is a pile of poo. You can come up with a whole bunch of different words that are higher, uh, allow you to sound a lot more educated, I guess would be a good way to say that. Um, I cuss, I know I cuss. I've, I've given, my kids used to get, joke that I had gamers Tourette's. Because I would be playing a game and all of a sudden, speaking blah blah blah, 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 I would start speaking up different language. It happens, and there's times and there's places for cussing. And that's what a lot of people don't seem to realize is that they think that you can cuss any time of the day. And well, I mean, technically you can cuss any time of the day. You can t cuss anywhere you want. Is it appropriate to do so? And does it further your cause? Cussing works a heck of a lot better when you use it sparingly. So when all of a sudden, if you hear someone who is very mild-mannered and soft-spoken and all of a sudden they get loud, then you know they're mad. And all of a sudden, if they all of a sudden are yelling and drop an F-bomb in the middle of that, that really hammers home that point. People are, you're, you're kind of taking the, the edge off the power of a good cuss word <laughs> is a good way to put that. If all of a sudden you drop the S-bomb and you're not known for saying the S-bomb, people are going to go, what happened? They know something happened because you let them know with a really stout word. So try going a week I'm gonna challenge you try going a week or so without actually saying a cuss word try going a try to try to go a week then if you make it a week make it two weeks see if you can go for a month you might be surprised on the reactions people get and how people look to you when you're not blowing their ears out with uh, 13, th 13 different uh, combinations of the word, uh, of the F word mixed in with an S and a B and, 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 and a, 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 D, a DH and, and a bacon sandwich and this is BS and you know and, and, and FG and, and uh, GD and everything, all the other words that are come around that are really not all that good to say. Yeah, we've got people who have taken these, taken those some words and are trying to claim them as their own. You've got feminists who like to use the uh, really vulgar term for uh, for uh, their genitals, and it doesn't make it doesn't make a point. My wife gets uncomfortable with listening to people say that say that that often. She does have the female parts too, so. It's not a well. You're just a guy, and you're just, you're it's it's uncomfortable to you. No, it's just you're overusing it, and you've killed the point. So don't don't use a cuss word just because there's a there's a space there for a cuss word. Try using it in a time when it's important. I remember with my one time my. Granddad, the only time I ever heard him say the F word was to make a point. And it's because I was an idiot and used it at the wrong point. So, 
try it out let's do a week jump in the comments below when you uh after a week and let me know hey yeah i listened to it uh changed it and all of a sudden people who didn't normally wouldn't talk to me started talking to me uh, i went a month and my my boss actually noticed and was like hey it's kind of nice not hearing a, a cuss word out of you you might be surprised on who realizes that you're not cussing anymore and what type of positive reaction they give it and give to you. So give that a try and we will talk later. See you next week. Till then. Bye.